Hey Rockets, welcome back to Makerspace. So this week you have two options you can choose from. You can use the April Maker Mat, which I have on Google Classroom, or you can watch as we make the cereal airplane. Keep watching this video, we're gonna start now. You're gonna need a cereal box, scissors, and tape. Okay, now that you have your cereal box, what you're gonna do is you're going to want to open it. All right, so you're gonna just start lifting the, the flaps and open it wide. Once you have it open, now you are gonna start cutting it on all the lines, okay? So on every line, just cut away. It should leave you with two big rectangles. Now, with one of the rectangles, you're going to start to make the wings. So in order to do that, you need to fold it. Um, we're not gonna flatten it, okay? Because you need a certain shape. You're gonna use a pen to make that crease. You need that rounded crease on one side, and you're gonna keep it flat on the other side. So a rounded crease on one, and flat on the other. Okay, you can see it right here. It's rounded, kind of rounded there, and then flat on the other side. Once you have it, you're going to measure it, all right, using a ruler, and you're gonna find the middle point. All right, so once you find the middle point, so right there I have like about 11, close to 12, I'm just gonna stick with five and a half. I'm gonna make two marks, one in the middle and one at the bottom. Once you have it marked there at the bottom, you can put tape on that so that it won't open for the next part. You are going to need to look at both sides. Remember, we're keeping that shape, okay? Make sure both sides has that shape that we want. Okay, so now you're gonna use the ruler again, and we need to make sure we're doing the same thing on both sides, all right? So it's about four inches. You are going to do, um, you're gonna mark one inch from the bottom. Let me turn my ruler around to make it a little easier. So just go up one inch, mark it. And you're gonna, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. One inch, mark where one inch ends, okay? so.
Okay, we're going to go back to the bottom, okay? And we're going to mark where 5 inches is and where 6 is on the ruler. Because you need that little rectangle there. After that, then you're going to take your mark from 1 inch all the way to the 5 on one side. And then you'll do the same. See the two lines we made at the bottom? We're going to use those. So from the bottom line that we made, on right there, making a diagonal line, okay? It's okay if it comes out a little, little weird, we're gonna cut it anyways. So then you can start cutting on the line that you just drew. Okay, now that we have our flap there, we are going to now measure again. Put the ruler at the top, and you are going to measure one and a half inches on each side, and then draw a line down, because again, we are going to cut on this. We are gonna make the flaps where they can bend easily. In order to make them bend easily, we gotta cut one side. So again, one and a half inches on this side, make the mark, so that you can trace it all the way down. Okay, so now you see it is on both sides. Now we're going to cut it only one side of it. So I'll show you right now. So when I cut, I'm not cutting both. I'm only cutting the top layer all the way down on that line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now you can tape the bottom. You gotta make sure it's all closed up, so just start taping the bottom, make sure it's secure. You can bend up the wings a little bit and tape. All right, so make sure that they can move too. Okay, now grab your pen and grab the other rectangle you have there. We're gonna make the body of the plane. So you're gonna use the pen to kind of make that circular fold, because you're gonna roll it. It's gonna be like a cylinder, so we're gonna use the pen. It just makes folding the cardboard a little bit easier. So roll it about two, three times, okay? So after you have it there, you're going to cut it, okay? We do not need to roll it all the way, then it'll be too thick and it'll be too heavy. So we roll it two to three times and then we cut it. After you cut it, you're gonna tape it closed. The pen will just fall out. So you can leave the pen in there while you're cutting it and even while you're taping it because then it'll just fall out of the bottom. Okay, the body is done. There it is. So now you can get your body of the airplane and get the wings of the airplane and you can tape them together. All right, so the top of the airplane is what is shown right here. Um, it's gonna be where the wings are pointing up. So you're gonna tape the body of the airplane to the bottom, okay? You're going to leave about an inch for the front and the back you're going to leave a little extra room maybe about two inches all right so let's start taping the airplane body to the wings
Okay, now that the airplane is connected, we are going to now make the tail of the airplane. So you're gonna use one of the thinner rectangles, okay? The thinner ones, and you are going to measure four inches, all right? So measure four inches, draw the line. After that, you are going to measure one inch going up on one side, and then one inch going up on the other side. So it's going to kind of look like a house. So that now that we have kind of it's like a rectangle, now you're gonna add like a roof. Okay, see, so it looks like a house now. Now you're gonna cut it out. Okay, so there should be a flap on one of the longer rectangles. You're gonna cut that out, and then you're going to fold it in half. We're gonna add this to the tail of our airplane. So fold it, okay? And then on one side, you're just gonna cut a triangle off. Go at an angle and cut the triangle piece, just a small piece. After you do that, then we're going to tape it standing up on the tail of the airplane. Now we are going to attach it to our airplane. So make sure you tape it and you secure it with some with a lot of tape, okay? So it needs to make sure that you are securing it with tape and that it will not fall off. Okay, it is done. Now we can go run some tests on it and see if it flies and see what we can add and how we can change it. I decided to add pennies to add more weight to the front and see if it'll make it fly better. What can you add to make your airplane fly better?